1958, D. Lincoln sent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. According to NGC, the coining of cents at Denver dropped below the billion mark for this year as a consequence of a short but sharp nationwide recession. This nonetheless a very common coin in all grades shy of MS67 RD. Most were fairly well made, though ones from worn and chipped dyes are common too. This elusive plus designated specimen fetched a sum of $1,110. Number 7, 1982, D. Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. This is 1982 D. Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. According to PCGS, the 1982 D. Washington Quarter is very common as the mint struck over 480 million examples. Circulated examples up to about MS-65 are very common. MS-66 examples are much more difficult to obtain, but for a small premium, one can be purchased or even found in rolls, mint sets, or bags. In MS-67, they are very difficult to find. It is probably easier to buy one than to try and find one. Anything grading higher than MS-67 is considered rare. This plus designated specimen ended up selling for $1,557 with buyer's fee. Number 6, 1934 D. Lincoln Cent, graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. The Denver Mint Mark is clearly repunched north. Carbon and contact are imperceptible on this lustrous and crisply struck superb gem. Peach gold color is predominant, although wisps of cobalt blue appear on each side. As of November 2023, only a single FS504 example is graded at the MS67 level by either leading service. It was sold for $1,680. Number 5, 1962 Washington Quarter, with Type B Reverse. Graded as MS66 Plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to NGC, the mintage of quarter dollars rose steadily from the mid-1950s onward and accelerated rapidly after 1961. This is not really evident for the 1962 P issue, but by year's end, the Philadelphia Mint was fully aware of a growing nationwide coin shortage. Gems are plentiful through MS-66, though the number of MS-67 coins is limited. This MS-66 plus specimen was sold for $1,680. Number 4, 1974 D. Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. The 1974 D. Washington Quarter has a significantly large mintage that most collectors should easily be able to obtain an example. Many, if not most of the of the coins circulated, therefore, most examples will probably be in lower uncirculated grades or in circulated grades. Examples up to MS-66 are easy to obtain. In MS-67 or higher, they become much more difficult to obtain. This specimen was sold for $2,372.62 with buyer's fee. Number 3, 1946 D. Lincoln Cent with repunched mint mark, graded as MS-67 plus red. This issue enjoyed a large mintage, and the well-established practice by collectors of saving uncirculated rolls has resulted in a large pool of survivors. Gems are thus fairly plentiful, but even those in the higher grades may show signs of dye erosion and incomplete striking. Minor repunched mint marks are numerous for 1946 D cents. This one displays repunched D over D. It was sold for $2,880. Number 2, 1916, D. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-66 Red by PCGS. Despite a large mintage of nearly 36 million pieces, the 1916 D. Lincoln Cent is an elusive issue at the MS-66 Red grade level, and finer coins are virtually unobtainable. This spectacular premium gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved original red surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $6,900. Number 3, 
Number 1, 1943S Washington Quarter Dollar, graded as MS-68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, a couple of small abrasions are present, but it will require both magnification as well as patience to locate them. In addition to the technical preservation of the surfaces, both obverse and reverse display a long arc of deep sea green and golden brown toning on the right portion of each side. It was sold for $20,400. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one!